work. Yeah. This one works. Okay, but then we have to be slightly more formal and each time introduce ourselves so that the name is on record. Okay, Marcus Kummer speaking. So, so far, I think what I sense is uh, there is on the whole feeling that the common theme works well for a main session, but there is also, I think, uh, a certain sense in the room that uh, with the format we had, uh, there were too many speakers with an additional panel and that the DCs would be happier just to limit it to the DCs and as Marianne suggested, maybe have one keynote speaker who would give a sort of introduction to the theme. Are there other comments? Utah. Utah, for the record, if I may comment on that. I do think the interaction with the four panelists we had yesterday were very beneficial to the session. So I would consider it to have, again, speakers from outside the Dynamic Coalition interacting with the Dynamic Coalitions. I, I agree that we had a lot of speakers and I, I don't know whether it worked out, but one takeaway from the session was that there are overlaps in regard of the work be among the dynamic coalitions. So it might be an option that two or three or four dynamic coalitions agree to have one speaker speaking for these dynamic coalitions. I do know that is a challenge, of course, it would be a challenge, but it could help to reduce <coughs> the number of speakers and to have more clear messages than we could achieve yesterday with four panelists and I do think 11 speakers from the DCs that was, I agree with you, it was very difficult to follow for many people, but maybe it's, it's a possibility. Uh, uh, let me, uh, since I'm leaving early, uh, Siva Subramaniam from the Dynamic Coalition on Core Internet Values. I agree with uh, Yuta, and, um, uh, but one way by which all DCs could work together is not only to have an extensive discussion on theme or on speakers and uh, the session, the content, we could also think of ways by which uh, the, some of the dy dynamic coalitions could be merged together, uh, if not just uh, come together to agree on speaker for a session. We could also think of uh, merging some of the dynamic coalitions uh, so that uh, the number of coalitions become manageable, there is no duplication. That's a, that's a long agenda, but still we could uh, make a start by thinking about it and uh, Thank you. Sorry, I'm not sure this one, is it? Oh yes, we, we have two, uh, stereo. <coughs> uh, N Nigel Hicks and the Internet of Things. So, I mean, I, I certainly, we're not probably here to discuss the merging of dynamic coalitions, although that's, you know, that, that's always up to, I suppose, the dynamic coalition, if they're working with another dynamic coalition to, uh, to, to look at that. In, in, in terms of the theme, I, I always think we, we're enriched by uh, you know, the participation of others. And I do think having a, uh, having a as, as Marion said, having some sort of uh, keynote or having some sort of uh, you know, the facilitator in, in giving us a, a, an impetus is, is, is a good idea. But I do think that uh, you know, organizing it by the DCs and the MAG is, is, is somewhat you know, complex and therefore if there is the bandwidth for next year, which hopefully there might be, you know, uh, slightly wider bandwidth because of the uh, circumstances, then uh, it, it should be up for the DCs to, to organize the common theme and to organize the session, but bring in this uh, uh, outside expertise as well. Thank you for that. And uh, on the merging, that reminds me of an old saying in the UN, everybody's in favor of coordination, but nobody wants to be coordinated. And I think uh, we may end up with the same thing. Everybody's in favor of merging, but nobody wants to be merged. And welcome to Jerry from the DCAD, just arrived. We are here in a very 
informal setting, as we are not that many, but we decided to use the microphones nevertheless because that allows the uh, scribes to make a transcription, so we have a transcription for the record. Uh, we are just in the process of taking stock of the main session while we felt that on the whole it worked relatively well, but uh, most people I've spoken so far would like to go back or going forward, <laughs> go, uh, stick to the concept of having a session organized by the dynamic coalitions, maybe with an outside uh, keynote speaker who would set uh, the, the ground for the uh, setting the scene for the discussions. Uh, but one thing we should not, not forget, last year I think we had a very lively session, but we had hardly anybody in the room, and, which was disappointing. Whereas this time organizing it with the MAG under a theme, we actually had a good uh, showing. In the, that was definitely a, a positive effect we should not neglect. question is if we do it just as DC's a session again, will we have again the same showing or will we go I mean it was actually very disappointing last year there was hardly anybody in the room and also we found that the DCs themselves did not manage to mobilize people so maybe doing it with the MAG and uh, it, it was essentially Timea she did a very good job from the ICC basis and she I think also mobilized people for the sessions so just a thought I think Utah you wanted to speak uh, only one comment I I, I do think this was also due to the common theme that we addressed in the session because people then knew in advance what would be dealt with in the session from the program much more than knowing that 17 or yeah. next year 19 DCs are engaged in one common session and nobody knows what it's about. Um, just Marianne, yes, yeah, exactly what I was, it's the theme that brought the people in. Um, but I think there's a distinction between a session organized by DCs and, ex and, a, and a session in which DCs fully participate. I think there's a distinction. It was co-organized this time. <laughs> it's co-organized by definition because the DCs are multiple. No, no, it was not co-organized. It was not organized by somebody else. It was co-organized by the MAC and the DCs. Okay, well, that was the novel one. I'm thinking about next year. So the distinction is between a session that is co or organized by the DCs together or and a, a session in which DCs fully participate. So we either try and do both or we make the distinction clearer. But my point about it being the theme that brought the people in remains. I think that was a very good move. Thank you. I would also be interested to hear from those who were on, were speaking on the panel. I mean, Sivas already made the point that it was you felt you were a bit lost because there were so many speakers. Uh, <laughs> well, being short does not necessarily mean you don't have impact, but uh, you did a very good job, yes. Thank you, this is Nadia from the Youth Coalition Internet Governance. I thought, um, I, I was just reflecting on the meetings that we had beforehand about what type of moderator we wanted. If we're talking, um, this is just a minor point, if we're talking about um, a keynote speaker, if we go back to the point where we have a moderator who is a, an expert in that field, so that person can give the, the keynote for say 10 minutes and then open it up for the dynamic coalitions to kind of in, have an interactive engagement in, in that way. That might be then, um, in, instead of having a separate panel for that so that the introduction is more rich in, in terms of providing content. And then I also um, wanted to comment that if, if we decided to go back to a dynamic coalition's focus, it could still be revolving around one theme that's in common for all the dynamic coalitions um, and then br and try and bring in our communities together to try and find partnerships. So say, for example, we're talking about sustainab uh, sustainable development goals, number 17 is, 17 I think, yes, is um, partnerships, and then trying to either create a new project together across the dynamic coalitions, or finding practices in which we can do calls, like we need this and this and this in, in our um, 
community or in our surrounding, which dynamic coalitions could provide that or where can we open up discussions between us that might also be a, a different avenue of trying to interact between the dynamic coalitions on a theme. Thank you. Thank you. Other comments? Jutta? I have one more comment. I do think we should not forget how well prepared the session was by the dynamic coalitions. All the dynamic coalitions prepared their pages uh, that gave a lot of information on what was to be expected in the session and I, I do think you did a very good job going through all these papers and, and uh, draw the conclusions for then have the, having the questions to the dynamic coalition. So I do think we have to have in mind this preparation process and Eleonora, you started that with setting up the metrics of the SDGs and the coalition's work and uh, all this preparation led to a very good session yesterday and without that it would not have yeah, been the it same. Was, it was a professional session. I was impressed as well. I mean, they all have done their homework, but we did that already last year. But last year we did not have the common theme. So the, the step forward was to have the common theme. And I definitely agree with Marianne that uh, that made it easier for people to decide whether or not to attend the session. But uh, again, uh, I, I don't want to play the devil's advocate, but I think, again, having had a partner uh, in term of Timea, you know, she, and they were very efficient, the ICC basis, and that, that I'm sure helped also to give us um, people in the room. They have a good network. But, uh, but also, I, I think, it, yeah, Nicodes, okay. as yes. a preliminary conclusion, I think everybody agrees that the common theme is a good idea, and the general appetite would be for a DC-driven main session and I like, as Nadia said, instead of having a panel, that sets the scene, just have maybe one speaker, and then the DCs could react to that. But you please. So, Nicolas Zingares on the CPR. Um, I should mention at the beginning that I've fallen off the mailing list, so I was not uh, informed. Uh, I mean, I mean I, it's my fault probably because I changed jobs, and, and then I was not informed, I did not participate in this session. But um, I think the, the idea of a theme, I agree, it's a very good one. Uh, one way that we have found very useful to um, engage with people is to create a, a shared document where uh, then that can be posted on the IGF website for comments. And I think perhaps this could be a way also for dynamic coalitions to collaborate. Uh, if we have a common theme, we could develop a joint paper, for example, uh, at the very, uh, not necessarily too specific, you know, some goals that uh, would be shared among all coalitions and then the ability to uh, comment on each other's contribution, that could be perhaps uh, a way forward also for next year and to develop something concrete because let's not forget uh, one of the um, problems, let's say, with the IGF is the lack of uh, outcomes and uh, we as, as a coalition, we have done uh, consistently every year, we have produced something and I think we are happy to uh, replicate the same effort and if you want us to uh, suggest or uh, coordinate in that regard, we are happy to you know, show how we have done it. Um, this is, I think, something that would uh, strengthen um, not only the role of the dynamic coalition but also the whole IGF process. Um, so that's just a suggestion I wanted to put forward. Thank you. Yeah, I think this really would take us a step further. That we, I mean, we have come a long way. You know, last year was, the last previous two years was every dynamic coalition produced a paper. That was the entry ticket onto the being part of the main session. And now we are talking about, and this year it was a, to a common theme, a contribution. And now we are talking maybe a more of a collaboration. Nadia made a similar suggestion, uh, and uh, you know, just to pick one, uh, SDG, for instance, could be one option on partnerships. I think the DCs would be well equipped to do that. It can be something else, but your suggestion is to work together to produce a common document, and that obviously uh, would also require some discipline and definitely also some work. But uh, it's great to have these ideas, and I think uh, Presumably, we'll have a MAG meeting in January, so we're here. That's, yeah, what that's, the, that's the idea. 
and if we have a stock taking and we can come up already you know with concrete ideas that would be helpful Jerry would you like to say something yeah thank you Marcus uh, I, I would like to say how well the session went yesterday and thank you to Nadia and to Yuta and yourself and all those involved it was really good a couple of comments though one of the things that worked very well in the big cell one was subtitling on the screen this is something that people with disabilities were, were demanding for many years and, if I, and is now there. But it was used by almost everyone who didn't have a disability. My friend here who, and others said to me that when President Macron was speaking, they weren't listening to the translation, they were reading the subtitles. We keep making this point of what's good for us is good for people with disabilities is good for everyone. And uh, that was a good example. The second point is I don't remember any remote participant making a contribution during our uh, session on day two, did they? I don't remember one. So maybe that's something that we need to keep in, in, in mind because poorer people can't fly to France and stay in an expensive city and stay in an expensive hotel. And we need to hear from the poorer people as well as just the rich people and the rich organizations. But. In general, I'd say it was a wonderful idea, and we, we in the Dynamic Coalition on Accessibility and Disability really want to build on uh, coalitions with other DCs. Thank you. Thank you for that, and uh, I agree on the remote participation. It has been somewhat disappointing this year. Well, I was also just in the session this morning. At least we had two or three people who uh, made comments remotely, but. Well, part of it was due to uh, problems with network and website to begin with. I said there was a DDoS, a DDoS attack on the website. I don't know, Eleonora, whether you have details or more details on that or whether the feeling is from the Secretariat on remote participation this year compared to other years. Oh, well, uh, Would you like? I'm sorry. You need to take the microphone. So uh, by the time of our session, actually, the connectivity issues that we were having and the WebEx issues that we were having would have been uh, resolved. And I also just want to um, maybe uh, make a slight revision to what you said, Marcus, about a, a DDoS attack. We, we didn't experience a DDoS attack. It was a, yeah, it was a, it was a server issue, just um, in case, yes. <laughs> that gets, uh, yeah, that, uh, just to be clear about that. Um, but uh, I, th I think the remote participation uh, was probably, to be perfectly honest, just not very good in our own session. We maybe uh, should have done a better job um, uh, promoting the session and reaching out to some people uh, ahead of time to intervene remotely. Um, because in, in other sessions, uh, it, it has not been very strong, but uh, there have been, as you said, interventions. So I think maybe um, we, we could have done a, a better job bringing in people remotely. But maybe also the difficulties at the beginning put people off a bit. You know, if you try to That's log possible. in unsuccessfully and doesn't work, then you don't try again. But the That's DDoS possible. attack was actually, the news was spread by the head of the host country organizing team, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, because we hadn't had the chance to uh, communicate to them properly what was going on. And in the beginning, we weren't entirely sure ourselves. So there was but just... But it was never corrected. So. <laughs> yes, that, that's true. <laughs> okay, be that as it may, but uh, these are all points well taken. Yes, Terry, please. Uh, Marcus, I've, I've, I've said this, and Andrea has said this to you in private many times, and then Nora, and I'm no, I know you're tired of hearing it, but I have to say it for the record, that from the point of view of blind people and people with disabilities in general, WebEx is a disaster and needs to be got rid of. So just for the record, please, please, come up with a different remote participation tool than WebEx. Thank you. Thank you, and also for the record, on behalf of IGFSA, I had offered to pay for a different tool out of the fund we were given to enhance accessibility in IGF-related meetings, but I was told it could not be done at short notice. But now the IGF 2018 is over, and I hope that the Secretariat and the powers that be in New York will take the appropriate decisions. And I think your message came across. Thank you. And welcome. We had 
uh, another participant, you're from, I can't remember your name, but I do know you're from the blockchain technology. Can you please? Yeah, I'm Carla Reyes from Blockchain Technologies Dynamic Coalition. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we were in, in the process of uh, taking comments from the main session, and the summary so far is I think the DCs would like, again, to have their own main session they drive themselves and maybe with one keynote speaker to set the scene and they could react to instead of having a full panel. As by definition, there are many DCs around, but there have been also some suggestions made that maybe the DCs could, uh, again, the common theme that is found broad support, but maybe even produce a common document towards a common theme, agree on something. One suggestion was, for instance, one particular SDG, so the SDG 17 on partnerships, and then produce a document where all DCs work together. So there are a lot of ideas around, but please, do you have ideas as well? Well, I just think, so I think that all sounds great. I just think that going back to a DC main session would be helpful insofar as I don't think as a coordinator I should always be the one for my DC to be at that main session, but it's really hard to recruit someone to speak for two minutes. <laughs> to fly all the way to Paris to speak for two minutes. Um, so I, in order to sort of garner additional participation from my co uh, dynamic coalition for the main session in particular, it'd be super helpful if, um, if there was more than two minutes uh, of speech allotted to the person. Well, one of the suggestions made was also that maybe not every DCs need to speak, but two or three could agree on one common theme they would cover as a uh, and that'd be fine too as long as, like, I just, um, there are a lot of coordination calls that go into making that main session happen. Uh, and I don't even make it to all of them, right, because there are so many. It's a huge time commitment on our part to, to build up to that um, point. So if that is what's going to happen, then um, those three can do all that. <laughs> I don't know, uh, and, and the rest of us get left out entirely, right, um, I, sort of be out of the burden, I guess, um, either sharing the burden and sharing in the, in the space uh, for time allotment or, or not so much uh, would be good. Thank you, and sorry I forgot your name again. Your Nico, okay, you have two Nikos here. Um, so it's Nico for the record uh, from the DC3. I will uh, throw a wild idea just to uh, consider. Uh, we in the DC3 are very worried by the reduced time slots that we have. It really, uh, we have a lot of participation in the DC3. We have published a book every year. Today, uh, this year's book is supported by the ITU, WISE, uh, many important organizations. Uh, we would love to have our 90 minutes back or more. And I think that mm, maybe the main session could be a bargaining chip in this and that's why this idea is wild no so i would i would uh, set this to uh, consideration if it were to to be viable to exchange having this session for uh, returning to 90 minute slots for the dc3s uh, i think we would be in favor and, well, it's up there. Thank you. Well, you anticipated the next step. I was going to say then once we have finished discussion on the main session, let's go to the individual uh, sessions. But the, there is obviously a link. But I think this year it was mainly due to external circumstances because we, we had a reduced number of slots in a three-day meeting. And presumably next year there will be more room and Again, presumably, I can anticipate that most ECs would like to get their 90 minutes back. So <laughs> maybe we don't need to discuss at length that uh, we did also ask for a 90 minute slot at the outset for this year's meeting, but it just did not happen. But, uh, you know, you, you always have to ask for something in order to get it. If you ask for less, you will get even less. <laughs> Uh, are there more comments on the main session, or have we more or less uh, exhausted the subject? I think we had a good. Si yes, please, Esmeralda. 
So hi, this is Esmeralda from the DCPAL. I just wanted, to, I mean, I agree on the theme. This is my second IGF, so I don't have a lot of experience with uh, the previous years. But um, I like with the theme, but I would like to also suggest to have more time if possible. I mean, like we just um, put together a toolkit for this uh, year and it's very, well, I know there was the team and we structure our intervention on the team and around the team, but it's very, very hard to sort of uh, provide any, in my opinion, in-depth uh, discussion or any in-depth contribution in three minutes. So that's all I have to say. Yeah, no, I think that is, you reflect the common desire to have more space. <laughs> Are there more comments? Yes, please, Nadia. This is Nadia from the Youth Coalition on Internet Governance. So in terms of the, not a reflection of what has happened, but in terms of the future, perhaps if we have this DC coordination meeting next year, that we actually set the topic I think that now it's too short notice for us to actually have this discussion, especially if our dynamic coalitions aren't aware. But that would give us more opportunities to actually talk about um, the synergies that we would, would like to create if we actually came together then as a dynamic coalition to a coordination group to discuss the themes that we would <coughs> like to take over for the for next year. So any concerns that were raised regarding how do we coordinate so we can create time schedules in advance about how, how much time do we want like to invest in, who would like to organize that for the next year, um, what are, do we want to write a paper, anything like that, or how do we want to in encourage that. We could discuss that all together while we see each other face to face, knowing the face to name and assessing our time commitments then. So as something that we could look towards to as a what should a coordination session look in the future in regards to the main session if we keep it. Thank you. Well, this year uh, the DC has agreed on a common theme to propose a common theme in sustainable development. There was the MAG meeting in July, but the decision was only taken afterwards at the MAG call, so it was actually taken rather late, you know, that we would have to coordinate with uh, the MAG members. So this year, well, ne the next year we should be in a better shape also by having a MAG meeting already in January. And, you know, we can report back as DCs that we have assessed. Yes, it was a good session. <coughs> yes, but, and the DCs would like to get 90 minutes back. <laughs> Are there other comments? Yes, Yuta. <coughs> Just shortly to the process of finding the common theme and going through that process. Uh, this is all, all due to the fact that we had such a late schedule in this year and that we also decided at the MAC to have a more community-based approach to the themes that should be addressed at the IGF this year. So we had the process with setting these eight themes and then having sub-themes all in a community-based process. So we came out very late with these, we call them eight baskets of the themes and somehow this a uh, common theme for the Dynamic Coalition main session should fit into the whole structure. So 